Okay, let's go live. It's James Munich speaking, trainingsites.io. Um, I've been talking about uh, having live virtual teachers for a little bit now, and I think we're getting pretty close. Why? Well, I guess, what date was it? I think on the 9th of July. Make sure I got the right date here. But uh, Grok announced this thing called a Grok Companion. Um, what is it? Well, it's something that adults may want to use right now. But I think the whole idea applies to this idea of having a virtual teacher, someone who is there for you when you need them to be able to help you learn stuff. Now, the version that Grok is using is not necessarily for that purpose. However, in principle, I don't think it's that hard to actually map it out for using something other than what they intended it for or decided to launch for. And that's the exciting part because if they can do it for what I'm going to show you, it doesn't take much to get it to do for what chatbots are doing right now. What am I talking about? Well, I guess uh, let me just pull this one open. I'll actually open it up so that you can see it. Uh, one of the things that um, they did, and I'll open up a page here. I was just doing a little bit of search on Grok Companion uh, to get an idea of what it was. Uh, and uh, what is Grok Companion? The thing came up was AI assistants or agents which some people use for friendship or romance in place of or in addition to human partners. So this whole idea is that they came up with three different versions of, I guess you could call it a virtual chatbot. So they're like, think of virtual teachers, right? This is someone who is a 3D character who can interact with you verbally on your screen exactly the same way as a teacher would be. So think of a virtual teacher. Uh, and they have two of them that are available right now. And I guess, you know, for, uh, I don't know, for marketing purposes or why they particularly did it, but they have two companions right now. And apparently they're having one coming out uh, for Valentine's Day, an adult companion. But when you think about this, this is really cool because we now have a 3D character and someone who is animated in their communication skills. Not only 3D virtually, but in the way that they speak, the facial expressions, the way they move, and the way that the voice interacts. I've been kind of talking about this whole idea that I think voice interaction is kind of the hidden gem in this whole teaching space not text prompts, but actual voice interactions. And here we've got a thing where we've got Grok Companion now that has this available. So think about it from the perspective of, uh, you know, hey, I'm going to be um, a virtual influencer. I'm going to be a virtual teacher. I'm going to be an AI avatar for any kind of purpose. <clears throat> they've got one that they've set out now. Let's look for uh, weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, which is like a year in AI time. Uh, don't be surprised if we see a bunch of these coming out. Whether or not they're running on Grok or any of the other platforms, doesn't really matter. We now have virtual teachers in a couple months. Now, you can say, James, I don't know if that's true or it's not going to happen. Um, I personally think, let me make sure I spelled Valentine correctly here. There we go, Valentine. I think, did I, uh, no, there, there we go. Sorry, I had a spelling error. Sometimes I get these because I throw the maps together pretty quickly uh, just on the notes and stuff that I'm doing. But, um, you know, we're, we're going to have these people who are avatars and this is a step up from a chatbot. Uh, if I go to a website now, even, for example, if I go to the trainingsites.io site uh, and we open that up, I'll just go and open it just so that you can actually see it. But uh, in my particular case, if I go look at some of the tutorials and I'll bring this one up so that you can see it. But if you look in the bottom right of my screen, I have AI Engine, which is an AI powered chatbot that works off of the content that is here on the site. And it knows who is logged in and the chats are uh, based on memory. So what happens is if you log in and interact with it, you got one kind of interaction that's unique to you. So it's personalized. So I have that one that's on my site, but it's basically an interface of chatting, right? I'm still required to type something in to do something out. Imagine if we had someone who was like a real person that is there, someone who is able to express visually what it is that they're talking about, uh, and someone that has multiple functions. It's not just a teaching assistant. It can be for a whole bunch of other things. 
but we now have virtual people or avatars that are personal to us working in and or on the projects, tasks that we're doing, whether they be for fun or for pleasure, or in my case or our case in for teaching. And if you think about it, what can actually be applied to teaching, right? Um, what is it that actually fits if we're looking at it from a, a teaching perspective? Uh, and I came up with a couple ideas here. So the first one is, is like encouraging reminders. If, uh, you know, if you are taking time on something or you're coming to a site or you're in a course and you haven't made any progress on it, imagine if a, a virtual assistant was there and said, hey, come on, you haven't done this course. You haven't finished this course. We're on lesson seven. Or have you done the homework for that? Uh, and if you have someone who is there saying, hey, you know how to do this. Uh, let's get going. Let's start. See what happens. And it's a, not a text prompt coming up or a little bubble or mo, mo, modal that says, hey, do your work. It's someone who comes up that is an avatar. Now think about an avatar. It doesn't have to be uh, an anime one like the Grok one. What if it's someone who looks like someone who you either remember or recall or admire or need to apply? Is it your parent saying do your homework? Or is it your teacher saying, hey, let's get going on this. Let's work on this. Is it yourself reminding yourself to actually go and do something? It is an avatar. And if you go take a look on YouTube right now, we have avatars from Hey Jen or Synesthesia that can be anyone who look and sound exactly like anyone. So if you've got a teacher or someone who you admire that is someone who actually gets you going or gets you excited, that reminder is there. What about a gamified feedback? So gamification is a big thing on all of these particular platforms. What if you said someone that said, hey, you're almost at the next level. All we need is to finish this. Or what you need to do is this in the campus or in my AI learning community. You know, do this, reach out to someone and you're going to score X number of points to do that. Or how many times have you asked your AI companion or your virtual teacher for help? All of these things can be scored and gamified to encourage interaction with someone who knows an awful lot and can apply the information that's unique to the community and or you in terms of having it personalized. Things like accountability is a big one. I know a lot of the big challenges, especially when a traditional course business, is you're looking at this and it's like, um, yeah, I did lesson one or I did, you know, this particular course or I finished this, but I said I would do the next one or I took the lesson and I knew I had to do a task. Having someone visually keep make you uh, keep you accountable has far more value than an email saying, hey, you didn't finish your lesson. You got someone there. You got someone talking to you saying, hey, come on, you haven't done your work or you know what? You said you were going to do this. Where are we at with this? What's the next step? Do you need some help? Are you stuck? And again, that's just a just-in-time tutor at this particular point. Think of it from the perspective of someone who's there to help us. Um, do they answer questions? Yeah, it has context memory. It knows who's there, who's logged in, where it left off, what you're doing on the site. Um, if you need some help, if you need some explanation to scaffold or build out what the point is it's trying to get across, that virtual assistant can say, hey, you're a little bit stuck. Here's another way of looking at it. Or Here's some information that you might be able to use that will help you apply it. Uh, and then it's voiced first coaching. This isn't a text bot showing up. This isn't a chat bubble. This is a real person showing up on your screen, in your platform, actually interacting with you. And again, it's a personalized learner at this point. Uh, if you look at it, if you have a curriculum or something that you're teaching or that you want to teach, and you have an avatar that's there saying, hey, these are the ways or the things that we have to do to finish all of the work that needs to be done to either get certified, complete a task, get an outcome or an output that you're looking for. Someone could go back and take a look at your work and say, hey, maybe you missed this part or you need to revisit this part to be able to get what it is that you want you or you skip this part. Someone that can overview the stuff that you've actually been working on. <clears throat> what about ones where there's multiple choices? Uh, if you have different courses for intermediate, beginner, and advanced, there's someone there to guide you through the different pieces that has context about what it is you're doing and be able to have a unique learning path for you as an individual 
based on where you're at and the level of education and or learning that you have in the stuff that's being taught. This is especially, I think, going to be really important in different areas. So if you're looking at role playing uh, or scenario based kind of trainings, this is a safe space to learn, right? So uh, customer service prep, I'm not sure because people are trying to really automate that, but we may have avatars doing customer service, <laughs> not a chat bot, but an actual real person looking like a real person, that virtual assistant doing it. Interview prep, therapy, uh, therapy training, uh, language training, crisis responses. So anything that's interactive, we've got a virtual assistant. So it's not just a teacher teaching something. It's all over this space. Um, the other one is multi-sensory, and this is the one I think is kind of interesting for us as teaching. When you have a companion who is there to teach, it is a personal companion. Uh, and if I have someone who is that study buddy that was talking about on Claude that uses the study buddy approach with, for example, asking you questions, taking you on different paths, expanding on ideas that you have, You've now got something that is there for you personally. But the part that makes us stand out is that it is multimodal. If I go and look at an avatar, if you go look at a synesthesia or hey gen right now, many of the videos that you see are not real people. Uh, there's some ones, uh, some of them, Julia McCoy. Uh, there's a, I think, I um, uh, can't remember his name's last name, Goldie. They have digital avatars that are doing their YouTube videos. It's their content and their script. Looks and sounds like them, but these are not real people. They look like them. They sound like them. They're giving the knowledge and expertise that is appropriate. But the thing that's different is those avatars have voice emotions and physical emotion. And what I'm talking about that is the way they use their face, the way they use their arms, the way they smile, and also the tone, tempo, pitch, timber, all of those visual or auditory uh, cues that are parts that teach and help us learn what needs to be done and even mimicked human interaction. You know, and as much as it's kind of a weird place to start right now with more adult companions, uh, the cat's out of the bag here. I think what we're gonna see is a virtual teacher, someone who is there, who is going to look like a teacher or a virtual assistant who teaches us that is someone that we need to see when we need to see them when we're trying to learn something. More importantly, think of it as if you have that virtual teacher with you who is an agent that has other information and other sites and other things that it thinks you should learn because it knows what it is that you're trying to become an expert in, have an outcome of, all of the outline stuff that you never thought of, you now have someone who's a companion there to kind of pick out the courses. Pick out the lessons, pick out the projects, pick out the experiences that you should have to be able to get the outcome and the purpose and the information that you need to basically do whatever it is that you want to do. This is a super exciting time. So if uh, you know, you're know you thinking about, I want to start and build and grow my education business and all I need to do is create a course, I think you are absolutely stuck in the past and you're going to get stuck very quickly. The stuff from uh, Grok came out this month, so I guess a week ago or last week. Um, you know, the AI space is doubling. These are the stats that I picked up. So we got a billion users or close to a billion monthly users. We've got the power or compute that is available. I think right now is doubling every three months. We've got something where there, every day there's some new AI tool or service coming out. And we've had something in the last week about a visual, virtual, interactive uh, companion that is doing one topic. How much longer do you really think it's going to take to have one that is a virtual teacher? It's coming. Get ready. Get excited because it's going to be a lot of fun. But if you're starting, building, and growing your own education business, you got to think a little bit differently. If you want more help with this, if you're interested in doing just that, starting, building, growing an education business, please go and join trainingsites.io forward slash join. All of this stuff that I do is there. It's there for you. And if you want to upgrade and work with me directly, actually applying it in your business, 
We've got a campus pass that you can certainly go and check out as well. But any of the videos that I do, any of the prompts that I do, any of the checklists, anything that is about starting, building, or growing education business in terms of content is there for you to have. Now, of course, like and subscribe to the channel. My name is James. It's trainingsites.io. Take care and expect the best.